Hi guys, it's me, Penis Head again. You know, I made me very rare because of family business at the moment, but I need to make this video about the Behringer RS9. The thing is, I didn't want to buy and use the RS9 at all, but now I bought it. Not to show you all the functions of this unit, no. I had to talk about this item and what Behringer's intention could be. And about things that make me really angry about it because it is so obvious, stupid and unnecessary. So I couldn't hold on me as I saw that this item is available at Toma now. So I got in my car and drove 65 kilometers to this company to get one. Here are some impressions about it. You know, shipping needs too much time from Toman, so driving and getting it fast was the only option this time. Also, I picked the Spring Reverb unit from Behringer 2. It was early in the morning, so I had to wait nearly about 40 minutes to get my products. For the waiting time, the nice service grandma gave me a gift. A bottle opener for drummers. Fantastic. I always wanted such an item to stick it in my <gasps> or somewhere else. But let's go further. Now the RS9 is here and has to be compared to the other modules that exist in the Eurorack universe. What other drum sequences do we have? Well, there's the Erika Thins drum sequencer with obvious the same size and concept. I know it's uh, different, but only in the first look, it's the same category. Then we have the tip top audio circadian rhythms and the Robau drum sequencer modules or the Tesseract Tukra, just to name a few of them. But there are much, much more experimental drum sequences out there. I know that the concept comes from the drum machine RD9, bearing us RD9, just fitted to Eurorack. But this is one of the main negative points to me. Not that it's in Eurorack format, no, but that it has no soul and spirit of modular rack gear. It is not enough to put common features in a neural rack format. You have to think about things what could be done better in this whole environment and to take a look around what the other companies do with their modules. The hardware itself is fantastic for just 150 bucks. Could never be better. This is amazing. Don't understand me wrong about that. It's about that some people a Behringer did not very well their jobs. It starts about the color of the RS9. Is the color because of the RD9? Should this be a retro color like a Commodore computer? Or is this the Akai sampler color from the 80s? Why this gray color? I don't know. Behringer seems not to know that Eurorack buyers mostly want black or silver panels. Not white, not blue, and not gray and no funky colors. These days, it is common that companies who sold their own colors on panels change their whole series now to black or silver because they will not be bought anymore. Even there is a whole market about these panels because some companies don't make black or silver panels. Do you remember the company Bastel? They started with wooden panels. This was cool and funky some years ago. We all loved it, but now they changed also to black or silver. And this has a reason for sure. You will not find a Bastel wooden panel anymore in life racks. Look on my life rack. Just all black. I would never put the RS9 in my rack except somebody makes a black panel for it. So this was the first negative point for me. And I have four more negative points. The second is this. In my last video about the Behringer 369, I argued about the manual and I thought it is not possible to make it more worse. I was wrong. Now we are at the deepest level what is possible. This manual is a mess and has nothing to do with a manual. Congratulations Behringer, job done. You did it again in the worst case. Damned how stupid it is. The overview download manual is even not better. But here you forgot my language. 
And this is the language Beringer came from. They are the D marks on the side of the sides, but no content for that. I cannot understand why nobody takes care about this shit in such a big company. What a terrible mess. It's my opinion. So, and now the third negative point. It's a feature what you forgot because you have not enough experience in the Eurorack universe. You have 10 channels. You have 16 trigger keys. Why don't you have a record mode or just a play mode to trigger all the 10 channels by pressing the keys simultaneously? You know what I mean? All the Robau sequencer can do this and also the uh, electron rhythm has it. And even more features could be possible. Make for every channel a Euclidean sequencer or just random functions on the fly. Pressing one of the 10 channels and you have a new pattern, even deleting and recording on the fly with the 16 keys would be possible. Easy, easy things. Just programming and thinking about that. You have a good hardware, but no open mind to look besides the TR909 concept. I think, uh, I think you need more knowledge in modular and more ideas, ideas about that. And my last point is always a point every Eurorack company should think about. It is the size of modules. Every saved space is a good decision. Space is always rare in racks. I think the RS9 is some HP too big. Erica's drum sequencer is 42 HP. The RS9 is 52 HP. And here you can see also the same routine from Beringer engineers visible. Let's make the RD9 to Eurorack. This is what they thought. This is enough. No, it's not. It's not enough. Just a small redesign would make the RS9 6, 6 HP smaller. The big display, the space around some knobs, whatever. An own level knob for accent level, really. Two big MIDI connectors, really. Every company use small checks for this nowadays. There's a bunch of potential in that, but nobody cares about. And why? Because nobody at Beringer knows the spirit of modular Eurorack modules. So at the end, this is a great piece of hardware for a low price, but with no soul and no modular spirit. It's just a static sequencer machine, but there could be light at the end of the tunnel. I have hope for a real manual for all the guys out there who are not so experienced like me. And I have hope for a big software update with all these missing features. And I have hope that somebody will make a black panel for it. But all this could be done straight out of the box from bearing. If some people had enough experience in the modular world. Somebody like me. Your lovely penis head. <laughs>